She has a boyfriend and has OnlyFans. That's trashy. Do you need to put your boobs out even during pottery classes? Y'all are so cringe. Am I the only one who stopped watching Lauren and I'm grateful I did? <laughs> Lauren, welcome back to my channel and welcome to YouTubers read mean comments about themselves and get their feelings hurt part two. Last time I did this video by myself and today I am joined by Asian Girl Squad who is um, here for not only moral support but also I feel like it's a little easier to get your feelings hurt when we're all getting our feelings hurt. So today we're going to be making fun of the people who have made fun of us. Okay, but on the real, 99.9% .9 of comments are so overwhelmingly positive. So thank you, seriously, so much. If you've ever left a nice comment, the internet can be like kind of a good place to be. It can be a little dark. So if you've been a part of making it a little bit nicer for YouTubers, I salute you and I thank you and I welcome you to enjoy this video of us getting roasted. I also wanted to take a sec to highlight some of the uh, really nice comments. I've got exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C, and Exhibit D. Because no one gets to make fun of my friends except for each other. I am no sorry, but why is this the cringiest thing I've ever seen? I'm no sorry either. Yikes, couldn't finish. Fan. But wow, this was challenging to watch. Maybe if I was drunk. That's all my content. <laughs> you nasty. Thank you. Why are you still broke then? Many YouTubers at your age already are worth over 10 million. You should see my bank account. Did you start to run out of money and that's why you're back? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> All of your vlogs are just about food now. I never comment, but I just don't understand why everything you show is food, eating, and hauls. You live in LA. Plus your NYC. There's more interesting things to vlog about. I pick the most interesting things to put as the title. I enjoy food, so that's why I do that. I also don't really leave my house much, so I'm mostly just sitting at home eating. Thank you. This is so cringe. What the f happened? Seems like a midlife crisis to me, lol. It's actually a quarter life crisis. She keeps making that weird clicking noise with her mouth and it's getting so annoying. Video after video. I know, every single time I watch myself doing that, I, I cringe on the inside and I die a little and I just don't know how to stop doing that noise. You old. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, my mom tells me my eggs are dying every single year, okay? I know. Dang, Mia looks like she's at least 33, lol. You don't look 28 at all, I thought you were 40. That was kind of mean, Mihoi, what the hell? I guess I need a little more Botox. I made the noise. <laughs> Say this to be mean. Spoiler alert, it's about to get mean. Your style of makeup ages you, so in my opinion, I think you could try a lighter pink and glossy lip, less heavy lashes, and possibly a lighter brow shade. I feel your eyes would appear brighter and bigger without the lashes blocking them off so much. You're beautiful either way, then I hope this doesn't hurt your feelings because that is not my intention. My feelings are hurt, Casey. My feelings are hurt. Your light pink lip gloss. I'm confused how she aged eight years in those seven months. Plastic surgery and tattoos and maybe a little bit of stress. Cal, blink twice if you're being held against your will. You use the wrong form of your, so I reject this. <laughs> Just noticed that Mia Sayoko's been going around dating Alex's friends. First Kyle, second <laughs> Tarzan guy, and now the guy <laughs> with lots of tattoos. You're not wrong. He's got some hot friends. Isn't it crazy how your life revolves around your boyfriend and what he wants and what he feels comfortable with and how he likes things done and what he does and doesn't like to do? Am I in a threesome? Because this kind of sounds like you think that you're in a relationship, but last time I checked, you were the third party. If there was gonna be a third party in this relationship, it would be Mia. She has a boyfriend and has OnlyFans. Yeah, that's trashy. You should see my boyfriend's OnlyFans. Why are you supporting ho oh shit? This is disgusting. Mia, yeah, this is a joint one for you oh, and I. Me? <laughs> nice to know she doesn't know anything else to do but sell nudes because she can't get anywhere else in life. So tragic. Hallie, you would be ever so lucky to own one of those nudes. I know that you don't use it. In fact, this is probably your first time and everything you're saying is 
you saying is BS because they're paying you. Again, people, wrong forms of there, your. We've got there, there, and there, your, you are. Maybe take a grammar lesson. It really is mind blowing how much fakeness is so widespread to the point it's pushed and celebrated. Filters, a pound of makeup, push up bras, implants, Jesus. Dating chicks in California slash New York must be a nightmare. My dude. You can just let me know you can't score a girl from California or New York. Your lips don't look natural. Bitch, that's because we, we juice them. We juice them up with non-natural stuff. I had Botox and lip injections back then. Now has a nose job and chin lipo and implant. Yes! Thank you for noticing. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls clean their acrylic nails properly. Love you, Remy, but I can't help but notice your nails are stained half dirt. I did clean them very frequently. I just had my natural nail, which doesn't look like natural nails don't look white all the time. So I did clean them, I promise, but they're gone now. How do you wear those caterpillar lashes? Do they affect your vision? Serious question. Do you have eyelash extensions? The end of the video, they bug in. Yeah, they're really bad. I'm trying to stop using eyelash extensions and I'm letting them grow out and they won't fall off and I'm trying to unstick them with glue. I think I need Mia to like pull them off my eyelashes for me. <laughs> TBH, in my opinion, you got plenty of tattoos. Thank you. And you don't need to cover your whole body with ink. Why do people go overboard with tats? Because I hate my body. Well, maybe one day she'll get a real tattoo. Shake my head. Uh, and this person wanted to uh, pipe in <laughs> baby ass pieces. Hell nah, they ain't the f <laughs> yo. Mom DIY is going to come for both of you. Hide your wife, hide your kids, lock your door because Mom DIY will show up at your door. I'm sure your parents are so proud that you have an OnlyFans and tattoos all over your body. Real classy. I mean, they're not. Stop acting like you're sleeved up, LMFA. <laughs> I'm not sure in what world anyone thinks that I'm sleeved up. Me and my little ass moose tattoo over here. Yeah, it, bitch. Your tattoo ideas are already horrendous. Aw, I'm so offended. Please stop wearing skimpy clothes. No, I'm gonna wear whatever I want. You literally just changed clothes and then made a constipated face. <laughs> gonna be honest, I have not been taking my pre and probiotics and I am feeling a little constipated. Okay. That shirt was not it. Most of my shirts are not it. <laughs> You're tatted up on beautiful skin. Thank you. What happened to you? Thank you. <laughs> Am I the only one who stopped watching Lauren and I'm grateful I did? <laughs> God damn. Y'all are so cringe. Thanks for the engagement. Sorry, but that was too much cringe to go through. Your viewers agree. I feel like every YouTuber is cringy. And I'm okay with that. You not being intrinsically aware that the world girl boss is chuggy, I think I meant to say chuggy, but a bitch can't spell, <laughs> really demonstrates the generation gap, cry face. This comment feels <laughs> chuggy. This is so chuggy, I'm so disappointed. I am chuggy, and I've established that on multiple videos, I know, and I'm embracing it. Girl, do you need to put your boobs out even during pottery classes? <laughs> Sorry, what boobs? Do you see this? They're stuffed and they're still flat. Like, I'm literally a fridge. There is no curves to this. So like, yeah, I think when you have double A boobs, you're allowed to do whatever the f you want with your boobies. Don't shame boobs, free the nipple. It's actually not the clothes. You're just built like a fridge. I mean, you're not wrong. Like we got straight down. <laughs> Holy shit, shut the f up. You need to be told to shut the f up a million times, really loudly in both ears until you stop. Okay, shut the f up, shut the f up, shut the f up, shut the f up. I still won't shut the f up though. She really boiled pre-made broth, added veggies, and store-bought frozen dumplings and called it a cooking show. Bitch, it was easy 30 minute meals. If you want me to make homemade dumplings and broth, I can, but broth takes four hours and dumplings take at least an hour. So if you want to, you can. I chose to not because I'm trying to help people. Pure narcissism and exhibitionism. How original. Jane Smith, coming from Jane Smith? You can't fix stupid. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, the plural of shrimp is shrimp, not shrimps. Every time she says shrimps in any video, I cringe. <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> These videos and watch every blog, but some days I literally have to not watch that day based on how easily annoyed I am because Tiffany does this one thing that drives me insane. 
need, bouta, hada, gotta. Instead of need to, about to, had to, gotta, isn't that bad, but when there are a bunch of the others, I just can't. Anyone else really? Yeah, I have terrible pronunciation. <laughs> Took lame and made it lamer. Nice. Been making shit lamer since 2011. I love how people want to support someone who doesn't want to get an actual job, so she starts an OnlyFans and promotes herself on YouTube. Thank you. I love that you love that. I love that as well. Very boring. Again, thank you for the engagement. She still don't got 10 million. <laughs> I mean, I know, okay? We out here losing subscribers every single day. <laughs> she seems to be in a weird transition phase where she's trying to be a baddie, but still has her same funny girl energy and it makes a weird mix. So what? So what, Claire? You probably smell bad. That's it. Personally, my feelings are mildly hurt, but thank you for hopefully enjoying this video at the expense of all of our feelings. Again, thank you so much to everyone who has ever left a nice comment. Uh, if you're still watching, go leave something nice in the comments to one of these other bitches because they deserve it and the internet is sometimes a dark, dark place and the majority of people need to work on their grammar. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the vlog channel and again in a few, maybe next Sunday or the Sunday afterwards for another video. Bye guys!